Hey buddy, welcome back to Twin Two Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to save some space on your Xbox Series S and Series S by hooking up an external hard drive and saving your games over to that to transfer them over. You can also play Xbox One and Xbox 360 games from your hard drive. And today I'm going to be looking at how that affects the loading times because obviously loading times from an SSD is going to be much slower than it is from a hard drive. But how big is that? I'm interested. If you're interested, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's just uh, dive into it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to plug in our external hard drive. Once you've done that, it's going to come up this screen here where it asks you if you want to use for media or for games and apps. You're going to want to click Format Storage Device. Now, anything you have on this hard drive is going to be deleted. So any files that you need on your hard drive, back them up, put them somewhere else, put them somewhere secret, put them somewhere safe, and click Format Storage Device, and it's going to format it for uh, Xbox Series S, X, and 1. So click new volume you can call it whatever you want i'm just going to call this xbox backup and now you can choose whether you want to install all your games and stuff onto here or you can just keep them on your xbox system storage i'm going to keep it on keep current location here and then we're just going to click format storage device once that hard drive is plugged in and ready to go and formatted for your windows games what we need to do is to click the xbox guide button and we need to go to settings so Press the RB button so you get to your picture. Go down to settings, click settings, open settings. And what we want to go to is the system and backup and transfer. And we're going to go to hard drive transfer. Now, this is for games that are stored on your SSD and you want to move them over to your hard drive. If you want to move them back, it's a completely different process. I'm going to show you that later. So choose all the games that you want to transfer over. So I'm going to test Apex Legends out today. And we're going to test the loading speed of Ori and the Blind Forest. So I'm going to want to move them over. And you can transfer your apps or anything you want here. Once you've selected these, you can either copy them or move them over. So I'm going to choose to move them over. And we'll move them over there. So if you the reason you'd want to copy them is just in case, you know, you want it to be much quicker when you're uninstalling games in the future and you've already got a copy on the backup of your hard drive. Another reason you can do this is if, say, you want to keep a game, but you don't want to uninstall it. So say you play the Medium, which is an Xbox Series S and X exclusive. This is not going to play off an external hard drive, but you want to go back to it at some point, but your hard drive space is a little full and you want to clear it but you also don't want to go through the process of downloading that game again, especially with the download speeds that are out there. The, if you're moving it to and from a hard drive, it can be anything up to a gigabyte transfer speed. If you've got an SSD, it's probably much quicker. Whereas if you're downloading from the internet, it is going to be about 50 megabytes per second. So you can see there, Apex Legends is going to take 10 minutes to move from my hard drive to my Xbox, as opposed to the six to seven hours it took to download. So that's what I'm going to be using this for. And that's what I reckon you should as well. Okay, so to transfer back, you cannot do it from that backup transfer section. You're going to have to go onto the game itself. So you can go to my game and apps click on games and there's apex legends click more options and click manage games and add-ons then it's going to show the update save data and things like that so i'm going to click that it's installed on the xbox backup we'll click on that press a click move or copy and then we'll click the entire game and click move selected and that'll transfer it back onto your hard drive and it'll take about 10 minutes like it did to transfer back over which is much better than re-downloading an 80 gigabyte game again and again and again so you can keep if you have a big enough hard drive i'm using a terabyte hard drive at the moment but you can use two terabytes and you can use four terabytes and apparently according to the website the maximum that you can have is 16 terabytes not that you'd ever fill 16 terabytes that's just a bit too much isn't it mind you the amount of hard drives i've got let's just quickly calculate that four eight uh ten 11 i've got 11 terabytes worth of hard drive storage all for videos and things like that but you never know the way the future is going you might one day need a 16 terabyte hard drive but it's good that it does support that amount of storage as well we're also going to be playing some games off this hard drive as well uh, so i'm just going to test out how that affects the hard drive speed so i'm going to launch apex legends see how long it takes to load up and get me into a game and then we're going to do the same on the hard drive as well I'm going to skip to this being complete now and we'll skip to the bit where I test it. So start with Apex Legends 
and this is installed on the internal storage. Instantly into the game there. Let's see how long it takes to actually get through this loading screen and into an actual game. I know my internet probably factors into this as well, so loading up. Uh, I just want to play. Is there solos in this? There is no solos. We'll just have a quick. Just load into the firing range. So once this matchmaking screen goes off, that's when we'll uh, start the timer for this. 21 players in the queue. The queue for the firing range. There's a queue. Oh, I'm running. Okay, that was pretty quick. Instant almost. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get a, uh, a stopwatch timer for this. And it looks and plays. I'm running at 60 FPS here because I'm plugged into the uh, capture card. But I'll probably keep it fair. So as you can see, it is now installed on the Xbox backup. And this is it running from the hard drive. To can change my controller battery or plug it in. It's actually still pretty quick. Let's see how long it takes for me to get into the firing range. 28 players in the queue again. A lot of people practicing. Still pretty instant from the hard drive itself. And we're still running at a solid 60 frames per second. I don't know how that goes while the game's playing. I'm out of heavy ammo. So no, not much lost there from playing this game from an external hard drive as well.